first half hour on GDGC, the best spots to check out in green country this weekend. We're counting them down in the bucket list. And the best way to keep your family safe. How getting to know your pharmacist can help. Plus tips for parents trying to juggle school and kids. That's all coming up this half hour. Now, earlier in the show, we talked about a JCPenney ad that has people raising their eyebrows. Here it is. Take a look at it. Some people think that teapot looks like Hitler. Lindsay says it looks like a butler. Well, you guys commented via Twitter and Facebook, and here's what you had to say. Randy Painter says the purpose of an ad is to get you to remember what is being sold. I'd say it worked, and a lot of people are duped. Have a good day. Winky. Todd Crane says, come on, really, people? It's just a teapot. If people are that concerned about it, they need to get a life. There are more, much more important things to worry about in this world. Thank you, Todd. There's still time to chime in. Go to Facebook.com slash Great Day Green Country, or you can also tweet us at GDGC Tulsa. Now, everybody wants amazing abs and a strong core, but nobody likes crunches. I don't. Clint Howard, exercise and physiologist and founder of Tulsa Fitness Systems, is here to tell us about the anti-crunch six-pack solution. I love it because I can't stand doing crunches for two reasons. My neck hurts yep. when I do crunches, uh, and I'm already laying down, so I may as well just continue laying down. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? No, one of my coaches used to tell me, if you're laying down, you're having a bad day. And you're, and you're working out. So, um, yeah, crunches, really, there's a lot of research now. Crunches, actually, when you do a crunch, your hip flexors are actually doing most of the work. Your abs are only working for about 30 degrees of that 90-degree flexion. Interesting. And so the abs aren't really even working very much. And, obviously, you put a lot of strain. You said your neck and also your lower back. You're compressing yeah. your disc. And so, like, if I wanted to come up with a way to, like, hurt my back, a crunch is what I would actually try to do. Like, how can okay. I hurt my back? Let's do crunches. Okay. So, so let's so, not do crunches. Exactly. And so they're really the core, the abs are trained to stabilize mm -hmm. and actually lengthen and not crunch and, and shorten. So, cool. So you've come up with these, this exercise. It's yeah, we, we call it 3D training, triplanar. The, the, when we talk about the abs, there's the six-pack, the rectus abdominis, everybody kind of knows. There's a lot of other muscles that make up your abs. These side muscles called obliques, intercostals, mm -hmm. transverse abdominis. I can't see any so, of them. So. But <laughs> well, they're under there. There we, all, we all have them. Now, that's nutrition's another topic to get them out. <laughs> but, but really, you want to train the abs, the core, and all different planes of motion doing different exercises. Okay, and so Sheila's here. Hi, yeah. Sheila. Thanks for being here. Show, show me so, some exercises of what you're going to do. First thing, we're going to a plank. Okay, a plank is a basic exercise here. A lot of people know we're going down to the elbows. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a basic plank here. So the core is engaged, squeezed in tight, the glutes are working. I wanted to ask uh, you this because I did this the other day and I start trembling. Mm -hmm. You know, because after a while, and I'm wondering, is this good for me? Yeah, like she can modify this. So if you go to your knees, like a, a basic plank, someone should be able to hold for at least 30 seconds. Okay. So it's just, uh, you know, basic. From there, we can get more advanced as well. Now, Sheila's very strong. She's been doing this for a long time. She mm -hmm. can lift a leg up. That's going to get more challenging. So she's got her core's working a little harder now. She's unstable. You can even go what we call a two-point plank. So now she's going to go here. Really challenging. You see that core starting to shake a little, her glutes yep. are turning, so that's a little more advanced, but you can start out basic on your knees a more and advanced. do a basic plank here. So, <laughs> okay, done. then a lot of people know what a mountain climber is, yes. so mountain climbers are a great exercise for the core, but also even here we can take it up a notch and do some different variations, and so when we're down here, we can go what we call Spider-Man, so now she's going out to the side, this is starting to engage a little more through the obliques and also just getting hit in a different plane of motion, and we can also do one more variation here where she's going underneath and across, where starting to rotate so it's really and, just and getting... I know she's staying real flat back is that, exactly. is that this important? is perfect flat back so your body wants to go down obviously and sag right. so you're keeping the hips up square flat back you don't want to hock your rear and right. those cores are just locked in like someone's going to punch you in the stomach they're locked in solid just because... doing this, those two exercises work in so many different muscles oh yeah a lot of different variations and one other thing too we do a lot of stuff with resistance tubing right. now you can stand up and really start to work different rotational patterns here so first thing here she's going to do what we call anti-rotation so she's just walking out her arms are extended and just walk so her body is trying to come back in so the core is locked in oh. to prevent you from rotating so we call it anti-rotation so your abs are just getting fired up that's right here. interesting you're working so, your abs without like without even moving, moving yeah they're just stabilizing the core that's so, awesome yeah and then we got two more quick ones here okay. she's going overhead this is called an overhead frontal reach so it's a different plane of motion we call the frontal plane and so now we're starting to fire up the obliques here okay. and still working the core just a different plane oh, of motion. That's a good one. And then one more. And then point. last one is a rotation. So now working yes. the rotational transverse. Now we're really starting to fire up as we rotate. 
again, just blasting the core at another angle. That's okay, awesome. And you haven't hurt your lower back. You haven't hurt your neck. You haven't done this Exactly. Thing. Everything's safe. The, the abs are engaged. And we're hitting them from several different angles. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Good work, yeah. You can find out more about this workout and about Tulsa Fitness System by visiting our website. It's greatdaygreencountry.com.